on guys and gals another day another video hope everyone's having a great uh, day week so far uh, today's video we're gonna focus on giving yourself a raise um, actually comes from a post in uh, the uh, Amazon FBA beast uh, group that is uh, one of the members was complaining about the uh, and not to call anyone out, but you know, we'll use this as a learning experience for everyone. I'm sure people have run into this. Um, he was sourcing some books, scanned them, saw that there was some profit in them, um, boxed them up, got to the shipping part of it, and found out that it was shipping to a West Coast facility, I think Phoenix, uh, and the cost was more than he anticipated. Um, some discussion went back and forth, you know, saying that it's actually pretty cheap to ship, you know, that amount of weight. Um, I think it was like 40 pounds for 20 bucks uh, to the West Coast, which is reasonable in, in my opinion. But it later comes out that, you know, at that rate, he won't make as much or any profit on the books that he's sending in. So one of the members posted, uh, let me check, Melanie Conti. Hope that I got that name right. Basically, give yourself a raise, and I think that's a great comment. Um, each one of us is our own boss, and each one of us is our own employee. And what I mean by that is, every day we go out, we basically hire ourselves as employees to go out and source products. Whether you go to thrift stores, Goodwills, uh, retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, wholesale, liquidators, you're the employee. You're going out there and you're finding the product for your company. Um, giving yourself a raise I think is great because whatever you decide to pick is your salary. If you're picking something that's going to make you a dollar per book, do you think your time is worth a dollar per book? Or would it be better spent getting um, something from a thrift store or Goodwill where you would spend a dollar and possibly sell it for 30 or $40? like many of us do um, and again this, this person is just starting out I'm not gonna you know mention it by name you'll probably know when you see the post but it's a learning experience do yourself a favor start off you know um, early don't sell yourself short you know you're worth a lot more than a few cents on each book and uh, I know you think that you're gonna send it in it's got a low ranking uh, you're gonna flip it quick. Let me let me tell you any book with a low ranking Amazon probably has the buy box on so And if they don't there's gonna be a lot of competition in there uh, a lot of penny sellers um, that are making a few cents on each book so Unless you're getting into a book that's making a couple of dollars profit I would stay away from those uh, low profit books and use your money elsewhere um, That's it. That's my quick video for the day uh, I'll be trying to post one a day. Uh, if you like them, uh, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment if uh, you guys have any other topics you'd like me to, to talk about. All right. Have a great day, guys and gals.